But yeah, hey everyone. Hope to see you all um, November 10th through 16th at our sixth annual Faith and Fashion Week. Amen. Amen. Welcome, Facebook family. Welcome, Mixtation family. Um, my name is Wilbur Nichols, and my guest today is Quintaya Brunson. Yes. Welcome, love. Welcome. You can speak into Mike Lola. Yeah, there you go. Get speak a little louder. Closer. Yeah, you can. It's I don't usually right. get told that too often. Oh, no. no. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. Hallelujah. Bless his name. All right. Um, before we start, you don't mind if I say a word of prayer? That's not. All right. Here we go. Father, we just thank you right now for being in this place. We thank you right now for faith and fashion week, oh God. We thank you right now for Quintaria and her dreams, oh God. We thank you right now for Mix Station. And we thank you right now for the people that are out there that's going to be listening to this conversation, this interview tonight. Oh, Father, we bless you right now and we glorify you and we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. And for those who want to call in, you can call in by calling 818-455-493-6499. Again, 1-855-493-6499. All right. So welcome, Facebook family. Um, we are here and live in the studio right now, and um, we're going to have this interview for a whole hour. If it get a little exciting, we may go a little longer. I'm good with All that. Right. So, you know, my next uh, appointment ain't until 9 o'clock, so we're good. So, you know, I'm hitting in here early for you, but um, God is good. So, how you doing, love? I'm doing very well. All right, welcome you know, to the I'm Brothers great. Show. The Brothers Show, my other half. Marcus Nichols, he's the CEO of Mixed Station. He's not here tonight. So I'm holding it down by myself tonight. Hold it down. Say, thank you so yes. much for being a help tonight. You need some money for that? Because <laughs> we on her Facebook. We are on my Facebook, and I ain't know how to get on my Facebook. How about that, right? They say, why do you run the station? You know how to do that. But um, no, I know how to get on my Facebook. But I wanted you to get your people in so everybody can join in. And um, so just tell me something um about faith and fashion we just go down the spill we on the app lab we on the app live right now okay so you know all right pressure's on <laughs> well uh faith and fashion week is the perfect opportunity to show the world how we can be trendy and tasteful how we can love god and serve god and still be relevant in the fashion uh realm because god created fashion yes he did yes. hallelujah thank god for fashion <laughs> thank him for fashion <laughs> Um, however, this is our sixth year. Mm -hmm. uh, we um, we're theme based, so we use typically we we have like um, themes that are based out of the Bible. This year's no exception. We're doing Exodus from bondage to freedom. So we are showing. All right. how, yes. Okay, we can bondage. go straight there. Yes. Bondage. <laughs> oh my God, bondage. Oh, this is gonna be a fun. Uh, yo, 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 I'm gonna go there with you. you, you, you see, Naomi should have told you. They should have told you. They should have told you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Go so ahead. Th this year's theme is mm -hmm. Exodus from bondage to freedom, and we mm. are going all in uh, with that. Uh, many of us on the team uh, read Exodus a couple times just to uh, be in line with the Word of God, right. and we are really trying to show the world right. how we can be in but not of how it's okay for us to okay. see the things that are going on, but we don't have to be captive to what society says we should look like or should dress like. God uh -huh. created us all uh, uniquely different. We all yes, have different aspects to, to add to um, the the areas around mm -hmm. us, and and that can be expressed through fashion. Um, so we're, we're going to um, go all in with it and show people uh, new opportunities to be themselves through fashion, yet still remain tasteful and honor themselves and God. Still remain saved. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah, still remain yeah. holy. <laughs> you know you got to be holy. It's still holiness in the house. Hello. Hello. Okay, so um, you started this six years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So you must be doing well with it financially. Because yeah. you wouldn't be doing this uh, if it wasn't uh, blessing blessing you, hallelujah. But, blessing you and your team, hallelujah, bless his name. Um, I, I will say that uh -huh. God definitely yes. makes sure that things happen. Hello, um, give it to him. Are, right. yeah, he, he, he definitely does. I, um, 
uh, faith and fashion week is not at the point that we're like, you know, throwing money up in the sky. No, know? don't make it rain. Yeah, don't make it yeah, rain. Make it rain. rain. Yeah. Help yourself uh, out yeah. first. However, mm -hmm. one thing that I will say that right. God has afforded me other opportunities as a, a real estate investor and as a community okay. leader so that I can fund faith okay. and fashion week. Okay. It, it's that well, important. Well, what else do you do? <laughs> well, Quintaya. <laughs> Quintaria, that's such a wonderful name. Quintaria. Quintaria, that that is I. Okay. Um, yeah. So, like, um, I'm a community leader first. Mm -hmm. Definitely an advocate. I believe in elevating the tribe. There are so many aspects that um, communities like mine have been left out of, and I am intentionally inserting us into places where we've been left out of. One is um, pu public service and community service aspects. So making sure that I sit on, um, I, I have an appointed uh, an appointed position for um, uh, domestic violence and. Um, um, people who have overcome trauma. I do a lot against uh, homelessness and okay. to, uh, for fair housing. Uh, so I I believe in, I, I thank God that I have an opportunity to teach others how to grow a legacy and the importance of a legacy. I saw a legacy being built in my family right. through my grandmother and uh, mm -hmm. grandfather and, and, uh, and that. So um, I definitely teach the truck how we can build a legacy through okay. real estate. All right, all right, build a legacy. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Yes. Trying to build a legacy for my son. Amen. Thank and my you. children, Amen. children that I don't even know right now. And I got to slow them down a little bit, <laughs> slow them down. But God is good. Okay. So we have a lot to talk about since you are doing so much. Uh, but we're going to start with the fashion since this is what we're here for, Fashion yes. Week. Yes. And what's the dates again? It is November 10th. Mm -hmm. through the 16th so that's not this coming up weekend it's that's the following, following week weekend. yeah okay i might have to slide through there I'm yes you, you should now it's it, it's week. it's a week and we have days with different things going on okay. our purpose is to help the world see that beauty starts from the inside out okay. um i i can show you how to slay all day but if you're right. still broken if you're still confused if you if you're mm. lacking resources mm. lord you, we're gonna talk tonight <laughs> go ahead girl go ahead with your bad stuff go ahead Free you're gonna put the offering out. Mm -hmm. um, none, the, but but if, if if we don't heal ourselves or allow God the space to heal us yes. from the inside, okay. it doesn't matter what we're wearing on the outside. Right. You know, you still look in a hot mess, and we don't want that. We want authentic change Amen. in our community, authentic Amen. change in individuals, uh, and, and and we've been blessed with opportunities to show people how that can happen. So with that said, the week starts with prayer. So okay. our first night, um, our first evening okay. um, event is on. Sunday so we have like a prayer luncheon and that's for the team but um, anyone who is on a panel in all of the models um, okay. your, yourself you could even well, come but your any, anyone who we is, all need prayer yes praise God pray I know I do Lord, I need prayer I need prayer right now right now <laughs> pray right lift your hands up out there roll everybody lift your hands up we're going into prayer right now right now yeah. father in the name of Jesus I'm joking yeah, but nonetheless, so we start off with prayer for the team. And it, it, um, I was very intentional this year right. because I'm so thankful for the people that have connected with Faith and Fashion Week right. along the way. Right. And I feel like year after year at the end, I'm like, thank you all so much. Right. You know, it's been amazing. And that, so mm -hmm. I wanted to start with thanks and right. start with gratitude. And Amen. definitely. That's the way to start. start That's yes. Right. And, right. and start with faith because faith comes first, you yes. know, faith and fashion. Yes. So we have a prayer um, luncheon with mm -hmm. uh, with the intimate circle okay. um, on the Sunday. And then on Tuesday, we have the mind, body, and spirit workshop. Okay. So that is how we intentionally c connect communities. In the, I'm going to take a step back. Okay. In, in our first couple years. Take your time. We're all we, right. Yes. Yeah, just slow take down. You're good. Yes. Take your time. We're all right. In the first couple years, we traveled. We were uh, we w did a couple cities in the oh, first okay. few years. So my thought process uh, was to make sure that wherever we go, again, it's not about fashion mm -hmm. as far as the clothes uh, right. necessarily. That That's the product, the, the, right. the end product. Right. So we wanted to make sure that everywhere we went, we connected the communities right. with um, uh, resources that could help them have the life that they desire, okay. the life that God would have them to have. Amen. So Mind, Body, and Spirit kind of kicks off our event. So we have therapists, financial coaches, um, any, any, as many uh, people that we could 
kind of pull together mm -hmm. that can help you with issues of the mind, body, right. and spirit. So, yeah. yeah. So we start yeah. off with that. That's a networking event. Okay. We have some awesome individuals that are coming. Please don't have me name. That, that's okay. why I got no, a team. No, no, yeah. No, 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 yeah. No. But you so can go tell to your team to call in. I know. Yeah. yeah Somebody call, call me call and they help me out. Somebody Come call, call 1 493 6499. All right, family, again, one 493 6499 Yes, right. yes. So someone from the team, pull up a flyer and, and <laughs> call off some names for me. Uh, so that's where we start with the uh -huh. uh, with the mind, body, and spirit. Then we move to body type. And body okay. type is... Uh, yeah, what is body type? But I saw that. What is body type? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, is my That's body type question. the one that you want right now? Let me not, let me get out my flat. Get out my flat. Go ahead, go well, ahead. Well, body type because um, for the, now, like I said, we're all uniquely made mm, and created. Right, right. However, there are some similarities or gen general similarities okay. for certain types of physiques. So what our goal is with body type is to help to build up on that confidence that we are trying to impart in you with mind, body, and spirit and with the prayer, prayer break breakfast to show people how to dress based on their body type. Um, so um, that is a very fun and interactive workshop mm -hmm. that um, uh, we have models that are transformed on site. Last year was the first year that we brought this in mm -hmm. and it was such like it was one of our most talked about um, events right. during the week was the body type workshop. So body type is back again. That is being hosted by Brandy Nicole Wallace. Okay. She's our executive director for our hair and makeup as well too. Um, and she's a celebrity stylist. So she's going to snatch slay and get everybody right. But most of all, build them mm -hmm. up in, um, built their um, knowledge up okay. about um, things that they can do to accentuate their look and it compliments them, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, you're saying still stay holy? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Hello. You got to keep that holy word in there. Good boy. We've been straight away from that. Okay, now, like, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no. Go and, ahead. And, and in all honesty, I mean, don't, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm human. I, I don't think are. that we you got to be wrapped from, from here no, no, to No, no, no. You don't. You don't. But love. I think you that don't. we need to be cognizant, yes, you know, and just be aware. And, and, in all honesty, know what you're going for. Like, what, what's, what's your goal for the day? You know, like right. today, I'm like very kind of laid back. I got my vest on, yeah, and, you know, my little boots today. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. it's one of them like we don't have a shoe cam. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> we did. We would say, put I, it on the shoe oh, cam yeah, right did, there. Yeah. We don't have that. We don't have I'm, that. I'm known for the shoe. <laughs> I'm known for the shoe. So that means you must yeah. pay a lot of money for shoes. You already hear that. Someone does. Oh, shot by saw. C. Oh, go my C. She said, someone paid for Someone does. Oh, Let's not go there. We're going into a relationship. Let's go. This boy go off fashion. Our relationship. Okay, go ahead, love. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, and then finally, we wrap up the week with the grand finale, and okay. that is your standard. Uh, well, not your standard because it's faith and fashion, week, right? But it's the traditional type runway show where we have uh, designers that come in. I um, pick up a scene or two, and we style them. But this year, the crescendo will be going from very um, what we see commonly now okay. to we're going to build up on that and show the uniqueness layer after layer after layer after layer. So you will want to see these people be transformed from bondage to freedom because mm. freedom is going to be like just that alone bondage yes. yes to freedom that's that alone that speaks so much value yeah 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 especially to the body of christ right now but i think a lot of people are just in bondage secret bondage mm -hmm. and um and nowadays at one time you didn't see it in the clothes wow you didn't see how how their bondage shows in their clothes but now you can you can you can just really i mean growing up as i have in the gospel world you know um it just kind of gets me kind of crazy when i uh and just to be on uh, i was talking to naomi earlier and i say that um when especially with praise and worship leaders, mm -hmm. praise and worship singers or praise and worship leaders um especially with women and the men um when the women wear tight stuff and i told her that and this is just for me i don't know about any other man but it's for me because i'm a heterosexual man when i look at a woman that's wearing a lot of tight stuff and she up there doing praise and worship i'm not thinking about praise and worship at that time praise god hallelujah <laughs> 
he's got a different type of praise on his heart. He got a different type of praise on his heart. So my thing is that, you know, I just seen a lot of praise teams and it didn't change. It has changed. And it used to be a time where you didn't see flesh. Now you see it all the time wow. because nobody is saying nothing to them and they don't know. But, and you know, and I know this is what y'all been gearing after. Say, hey, you can still look that way. But you say, that's why I love the Neo Soul movement so much. Because when Neo Soul came out in the beginning, the women, they draw, they wore the tight stuff, but they had, they had layers, layers and scars. And, and I was like, man, that is so sexy. Yeah. Saved and sexy. Hallelujah. Bless his name. I love the real women. Hallelujah. Bless his name. <laughs> and so um, when you look at all of that and you look out of praise and, and even with the guys when all of the tight stuff, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. I'm not. Look at me and say, if you saw me up there wearing some tight, you could say, bless his heart. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. He's blessed him, bless him. I'm just not a fan of that, but a lot of cats are doing that. Now. This is the new way. So are we following what the world is doing? See that? Or, 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 or are we trying to the or are we because or the tail? Oh my god, yes. you don't 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 yes. start nothing. Yes. Because we were the trend at one time. Yes. Yes, you're we were the trend. Yes. We were the trend and, and and I remember I remember back in the day, back in the day when I was growing up. Gospel singers wore baggy suits. Mm. That's how far I'm going back. When I was growing up, I was all into baggy suits. Like the zoot suit, that yeah, kind of yeah, that yeah. style coming out there. That was the end thing. Then they would say I was something else because I would. I'm like, no, I just like it. It's real yeah. comfortable. And now I can jump around in it, you know. Now I can't jump around in this tight stuff. You yeah. know, that's just not <laughs> happening. So I look at all of that and I look how gospel music has changed and how we have changed through the years. Yeah. You know, you can see it through one show. I'm not going to name and, that and name. My, my so. thing is, change is, change it's is good. good. Yeah. It is good. Or it can be it good. It can be. But I, I think for me, I think the people of God, we need to be intentional, though. It, it's like we're, and you said something earlier that kind of alluded to, like, we're just following. Like, right. We're just, we're just like, following whatever they do. We're going to do yeah, yeah, And yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to wear the uh, what do you call it? The guys wearing them long dresses and all that. The long, what do you call them? Face guard. I, I don't know I don't what care. they call. I know you're the fashion person. I'm not the fashion. Well, person. I'm not putting me okay. in long dresses. Hello, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know, the long things that they wear. You know, which was really a Muslim thing. Mm -hmm. That was the Muslim. They wore that. I'm not gonna wear that just because. Yeah. I'm just. I'm not Muslim. So you know, I'm not wearing it. You you may have some um, rabbis that may have wear that because they rabbis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they do. But you know, I'm like try to make that fashion. No, that's it's that's what they do. That's that was their that's part of their religion, part of their culture. culture and yeah. we're taking from their culture and trying to make it us. And there's no, 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 well, no, no. And again, for for me, I I believe that we all have our own story and right. journey. So right. if, if it makes sense for you and you have mm -hmm. a reason behind right. why you're doing what you're doing, right. I say go for it. Right. But when we are just aimlessly and and thoughtlessly moving forward and doing things and have no reason why no if somebody asks you a question about like mm -hmm. oh yeah that's different why why you why you got that right. on and it's just like Duh. they sold it to me at h&m i'm aware that <laughs> you know i'm aware that it's tight <laughs> hey everyone yeah it's tight so yeah yeah. so yeah. if they got any questions tell me ask questions oh ask questions if they want you don't have facebook yeah yeah add, yeah we're, we're IG here, here facebook there amen all amen. over here yeah. okay all right i can't read that from here but please god we got some people on there though bless <laughs> god people listening yeah. um and so when you look at everything that's going on in the fashion world uh what's going on in the christian world how you're blending it together you know the bible says uh it's impossible to please god without faith mm. you know faith and then we can go to faith is the substance of things hoped for and the yeah. evidence of things not seen so when you put faith with fashion it takes a lot of faith to do what you're doing right now yes. because fashion is very it's a very thin line mm -hmm. on for the other side now because now you're talking about hairdos and how people wear their hair yeah, yeah, their yeah. makeup and all that stuff and um we have crossed into a line where though Whereas though some of the people that are in fashion or or with you're right there at the time where things are being blended now. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, and, it's and definitely now, a it, pinnacle. It's been blended. It, it's, it's, like, it's like, okay, so which side are we going to choose? Are we going to choose to be this way or are we going to choose to be that way? And it's such a thin line yeah. that you're crossing oh, I, into. We, 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 um, and I can't say it is that we don't get a lot of pushback. Now, maybe right. I've just grown so much in Christ that I don't pay as pay much attention. attention to it. Amen. But when I first started, I would have leaders, wow. you know, telling me like, am I qualified for this? And yeah, you're not ordained for that. And, you know, oh, Lord, they put um, you on yeah. the ordained oh, list. Oh, praise God. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Lord, you need to be anointed to do this. God need to lay hands on you right now. Just God. That's how I'm going to go <laughs> um, nonetheless, um, but what has really helped me one mm -hmm. is it allowed me to to draw closer to Christ because right. I knew it's like I know that God gave yeah. me this, you know, like yeah. I, I know that th this is definitely from and of God, one, right. but two, it allowed me to focus on other aspects. So um fashion, the the word fashion, when I first started, it was just straight up fashion, like clothes, duh, right. like fashion. But over over the years, it allowed me to see that fashion was a manner of doing things. Yeah. It made me look, you know, like research more and think more. So now when I think faith and fashion, other people definitely think trendy, tasteful, hot, like the clothes, but I mm -hmm. think fashion. And that's why I'm intentional about starting with prayer. How, like the themes that we choose, fashion, the manner of which we do things. Yeah. And, and that to me is more faith. Faith and fashion, faith showing that we are people of God, yes. and we, you know, and we're relevant, you know, yes. because the, the one thing I will definitely say mm -hmm. is um, I, I don't I'm, I'm a businesswoman. I have a lot going on. Right. You know, I'm on a lot of platforms and yes. I don't walk. You around got multiple streams of income Praise coming in. God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whoever paying for them shoes, yes. they're blessed. <laughs> they are blessed. Hallelujah. We ain't going to talk about that right now. That's another show. <laughs> That's another show. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but what I was what I was going to say mm. is um, I don't walk around and necessarily, you know, start a business meeting right. and say, can we come together in prayer? Right. Or, you know, if I'm at um, a, a real estate, if I'm teaching a real estate class or something like that, I may not invoke the name of Jesus mm -hmm. in the class. However, my lifestyle, the way that my I lifestyle. live, the way yes, that I love it. others, that's people it. are always saying to me like, oh my gosh, Quintaria, I don't know what it is about you. And I'm in continual prayer saying, thank God, because I know that the light and the the brightness and the, yes, the excitement and the energy that yes, they see sir. in me is nothing but God. So the fashion, the manner in which I move and I operate, it truly matters to me. You know, yes, like I, I couldn't make this up if I wanted to, you know, like I'm, I'm so like authentic and genuine. Like people think like I'm playing, like, you got you kidding, right? You ain't you really this, not that. And I'm like, no, like this seriously. Is, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. It, it truly right. is across the board. So it bubbles over into so many things. But Faith and Fashion Week is such a um it, it definitely is like um I, I birthed this, so, so it's how, important in that so, way. So how, how did you come to what what was the oh aha moment to say, yeah, I'm gonna start facing faith and fashion week? It's the the aha moment was um, I um, am a creator and a producer. Okay. So okay. for years, um, um, at I think like maybe 16, 17 years old, I started with like helping my uh, church with like the church play and, mm -hmm. you know, like doing the productions and things of that nature. And I'm a dancer. Um, oh, well, bless your heart. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Does everything in it. So, I'm a dancer. <laughs> Well, I paid my way through college teaching dance. So oh, I started, well, yeah, I started oh, yeah. teaching liturgical dance okay. as a, because uh, let me tell y'all a funny story. Yeah, go ahead and tell them. You got Praise time. God. It's mixed station. You can say what you want to say. I was, I was at a church mm -hmm. years ago about, man, it, it was about maybe 20 years ago now, mm -hmm. young. And um, like I said, I, I, I'm a dancer. You know, yeah. I was a dancer in high yeah. school and, yeah. uh, um, and I love to dance. So um, it was a lot of like young girls in the church. And I was kind of like that, the, the 18, 19, 20 year old leader of uh -huh. the church. Yeah. And I, I asked the pastor, huh? you know, like, like, can I, can I do something with the girls? Yeah, can I dance? Yeah, yeah. He was like, sure, sure. I had them babies in there dancing off Mary J. Blige. No, like, you didn't. Yes, I did. Which one? What song was it? Mine. Day, a friend, a time. We had a whole routine, and then we closed it off with some other secular mm. song. And uh, but the kids loved it, and uh, and the pastor came in and he watched, and uh, and he was like, "Yeah, when when you finish, I need to talk to." And I was like, "And I'm thinking, I'm doing." You already know. You already know. I knew that. 
did it until I done showed him like the whole like like oh I got these the church oh kids God. tight. Then he was like, you know, I love what you're doing. Mm -hmm. He was like, and 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 he introduced like liturgical, and he was like, uh, but could you do it uh, like on a more liturgical level? And I'm like, you know, like 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 praise God this 20 years ago we say it more often now but I was like what's that and, uh, but I just when I think back to like just the growth yeah. where that you know it's like wow like it's amazing but nonetheless so being introduced to that I started teaching dance liturgical dance in churches and for churches that I went to so that brings me to producing events for others. So as wow. I started curating or producing events mm -hmm. for others, I started to, and, and as I would do more fashion shows, I would hear um, designers saying why they needed to be risque or how mm -hmm. if they if they, if they they didn't style or create things that looked a certain way, people would not be interested into it and, and into what they uh, had. And, you know, like right. they wouldn't be as popular or they wouldn't hit the, you know, the major runway circuit and things Come on, of that man. nature. On, and then there. on the flip side, I was hearing consumers say, well, that's just the way everything is made. Mm -hmm. Everybody makes it that everything is low cut. And so to me, I just saw and I, like I, I was hearing um, two cries from different from opposite corners mm -hmm. uh, of, you know, from polar ends. And they were essentially saying the same thing. So going back to what we discussed earlier, right. I'm like, if we're the head and not the tail, how are we allowing anything to dictate why we create you know if god Understand. placed this desire and these um the, the the creative spirit in us or you know like what the business spirit whatever our gifts and talents are we know that they're a gift from god so yes. if it's truly a gift from god how are we allowing the world to dictate the direction that that gift goes in so all in all that is why um how faith and fashion we kind of came about wow. because i was like you know what the, we can do something about it and i've always been that type of person Amen. like first second grade like i was the one like hold on y'all don't like the milk the yeah what let hey we can draw draft something up and go talk to the lunch lady and yeah, make some, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, and yeah. we got strawberry milk hello hello, hey, hello shout hello. out to uh my first grade class ah. <laughs> But but I've always got placed that in me, and that's why I think I love community service right. and being a community leader so much mm -hmm. because I'm such an advocator, an advocate, and a connector of people. So that's how Faith and Fashion Week started, helping others. I heard a need, and I said, "Well, let's just create a platform for it." And okay. it was off to the races from there. Right, all right. So so when you had that conversation with the past, did you feel like a little bit defeated, like you know, like or no? What like, you mean when or, I when yeah, the Mary J. Blige. Yeah, with the Mary J. Blige. Because really, what you did is you just took secular songs and just brought them in the church. That's all. Really? Yeah. It, yeah. But well, I tell people this. Now, and on the flip side of this, on the flip side of this, this is my take on it. I feel as though, and this will take us to another conversation, so we're going to be on another conversation. <laughs> um, I feel as though that even with Mary Blige, Mary Blige, uh, Mary Blige, J. Blige, 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 Jesus, let me get her Blige. name right. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Mary J. Blige. Um, with her songs, I felt though, even even now, that I get more deliverance. My God, from what she says than our own gospel singers. Wow. So if somebody want to call me on my private and hit me with a text, y'all can call me person. We can have a conversation about that person. But that's how I, I feel I because she speaks. To that. She speaks to the reality of what we are. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. just doesn't have a God well, in I, herself. I, I, that's I all. Think I think God, God can show up in any. Oh yeah, he does. Anything. He show up in her sometimes. Yes, to, he does. To answer your question, I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't dis discouraged. Right. The only thing that I was, I was a little more nervous because the type of dancing and stuff that although you know i i was trained in modern right, right, right. jazz and things of that nature right. all right now jazz you're up my alley all right now <laughs> um but my at, at the time my thought process was kind of like okay how does this work like i i hadn't done that before so it was just like it was like Okay, well, I'm, if, if somebody puts on um, an R&B song or band right. music, because I right. danced for right, the right, band right, right, right. Uh, growing up, like I know what know to, do to do to that. Right. Like, how do I dance to, to church God music? music. Right. But it, it took no time. Like, it took what? no time at all for me you know to what? transition. You know, I'm going to put my man out there. It's two people. 
that I saw years ago, and I, I know you know one of them, but the other one you probably don't know. Okay. It's a guy named Danny Easton in the Bundle Life. Mm -hmm. Years ago, he came uh, under from under Hezekiah Walker. Mm -hmm. And when Hezekiah Walker would show up, he would show up in the place of Hezekiah Walker. This is how I got to see to me. So you're talking about this round about the early 90s. It might have been earlier than that. But um, he would show up with his group and they would be dancing. They would do the secular dance, but then they had their own music tour mm -hmm. that's off the chain. And we were just like going bananas. Nice. They, like, dun, dun, dun. they were yeah. doing all the moves and everything. They from New York, Brooklyn. Hello. Yeah. So shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to Brooklyn. <laughs> you know, um, so then years later come a, a guy named Ty Tribbett mm -hmm. who pretty much I took love Ty. now yeah. if, if you remember the earlier Ty it was a lot of dancing with his group mm -hmm. they did a lot of choreographing uh -huh. and but he placed it to his own music he placed it he took what they had and changed everything pretty much they would copy it from him really mm -hmm. they was taking his stuff like yo he back because really ty and his band all of them really kind of like one of the fathers of that neo soul movement because they up in philly they up in new jersey uh -huh. they playing the same music they doing the same stuff and a lot of people don't know that ty Paris, and a lot of other cats on the band they had a lot to do with that time period you know what I'm saying? Even though they were doing gospel, even yeah. though they were sold out to God, they had a lot to do with that. And I keep telling people that's why I love Neo Soul so much. But dealing with the what you saying with the with the liturgical dancing, mm -hmm. it 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 kind of because I remember my aunt started that way before you did. I'm talking about in 1980, 81. Oh, praise God! I wasn't even 81, to, yeah. and they was crucifying her. Yeah crucifying it that she would bring dance up in the, in the church yeah crucifying so by the time you came along they were maybe a little bit eased about or whatever but then it's like how do you still do that and be graceful with and still be holy well you you again i i warned you like i've, I've always been a bit of a rebel well like, go I, ahead we, this is mixed station that's all we're about is rebels <laughs> uh one thing i will say when it comes to religion or spirituality or anything about human beings, we've got to let go of some of this um, tradition, yeah. especially when we don't know what's behind it. Now, I'm not saying that we should be disrespectful mm -hmm. and, and, and that we shouldn't be cognizant of the space that you're in. If right. you're in a church or, you know, right. however... I think that sometimes we don't allow people the freedom to right. really express themselves. Going back to what you said about sometimes you find more deliverance in a Mary J. Blige song. Right. Like God can use anything. Like there, right. there are um, certain songs that may not be classified as gospel. Like I'm a big uh, classical, like classical music kind of. Oh my God, my palate. Jesus! Yeah. She likes classical I, music. I love Whoever classical. the person buying us, she's blessed. <laughs> Classical music, Jesus, you all just all musical yeah. brands. I do, I do. Lord. Yeah. Um. So, uh, but classical music kind of cleanses right. my palate. Okay. And when and 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 so there are times that I can have a spiritual experience. Yeah. Off of you know a water sound or a yeah. but yeah. growing up, I, I grew up in a Baptist church. Okay. No one I'm made Baptist me too. feel like that that was normal or you know like people maybe was like what that child doing like what you right. know like so i just had to grow enough in god on my own right. to know that you know what this works for me right and right. this works for me you know like if i wake up and do my bootleg yoga and you know like look Hello, at the peace. sunset and that you will know keep your mind in perfect yes, peace oh peace is, Ooh, is amazing you know <laughs> now now uh, you know, maybe my aunt or, you know, uh -huh. someone more traditional may not get like, what is you doing? I, right. God bless. I pray my aunt is watching her <laughs> side of the line. But she would, she helped me out this, um, this past summer. My right. daughter had, uh, my youngest daughter had surgery and couldn't walk for a couple of weeks. So she came yes, down and she's good. She's okay. good. God right. is good. Okay. He's a healer. Yes. yes. Um, but nonetheless, um, but I would wake up and do like my morning ritual of of stretching and praying and all this and she was like oh lord here you go like what you stretching for this morning and that you right. know um however we all going back to your original uh question 
we all need to allow people the space to experience their freedom in Christ, their freedom in God, their right. space and all of that, and not try to define and conform people so much, which leads me back to the theme for Faith and Fashion Week, the bondage to freedom. Like, we want you to have freedom. Like, in, in all honesty, it, it's not even up to me to revolt your freedom. You, right. you have freedom through God. So, you know, like, so that's a given, you know. We just want you to um, be liberated in such a way that your expression, the, the closer you become to God and uh, and you're aware of that, right. it's certain things that fall off of you anyway. Right. You know, That's it, true. It, it's, That's it's true. things that I That's have true. transitioned through. Like I, I used to have a potty mouth. I mean, like, mm. like every other I can see it. You I can see it. I can see it. It ain't shook all the way it off. It ain't shook all the way off. No, I can <laughs> see it. I see it when she walked through the door. I said, there it go. There it go. That's an east side, west side, something going on right there. That ain't county right there. Nah. Mm -mm. However, <laughs> I, I, but the closer I got to, uh -huh. I, I grew spiritually right. yeah. and I connected to God, yeah. those things started to fall off of me. Yeah. Now, five, six years ago, Hello. come at me wrong, like, Hello. my Hello. God, you know, Ooh, I have by. to tell you what's Hold good it was and pray tongue. about it later. It was another oh, tongue. Was oh, shot by ya. Oh, another tongue coming on you right now. And I feel it right now. You ready for it, huh? I'm about to get ready to give it to you. Okay. However, now now it is at the point that my friends and family actually apologize when they're around me. Right. Oh, so I know. Right. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, people do it to me all oh, yeah, day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm apologizing. I mean, yeah. Go ahead, do Yeah, do Look, you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You act like I don't live in the world. Come on, man. However, yeah. but it leads me back to my original point. Uh -huh. yes. There are some things that I can't tell you yes. to shake off. I can just show you. Show you. So That's with it. Faith and Fashion Week, and like mm -hmm. I said, I focus more. God has elevated elevated my mindset not to think just so carnal as fashion like right. clothes, yeah, clothes right. but the manner in which I do things right. so if you see me operating or attempting to operate every day on a right. higher level right. it just gives you the uh the capacity mm -hmm. to expand where you are and say wow like she's doing some pretty cool things yeah. or, or, or she thinks differently or she thinks yeah. higher and so can you there's nothing you know so great about me that you or anyone yeah. else couldn't do I just choose to live out loud and you know and that means mistakes happen and that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yes because i'm we it, it amazes me oh yeah 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 <laughs> I, i'm amazed at how many people think because i step on top of fear and do things like this show like for those who really know me mm -hmm. i am um like social media like i i, I if i could fall back from it i would mm -hmm. i i push myself i'm a calendar girl are we getting phone calls? They no, calling no, no. me with questions. No, no, anybody call. That's the bill collector. Stop calling me. I'm on the station right now. Oh, you so funny. <laughs> um, however, um, I think when people see you stepping over your fear or doing mm -hmm. things in spite of fear, they think that you're fearless. And right. it's like, no, I'm not fearless. I just know that my goal is on the other side of that. So I have to, you know, be faithful and just press forward through that. So if, if me, um, overcoming my shortcomings right. or, or, or pressing through me being, um, uh, me wanting to fall back because I'm a retreater naturally. Yeah. Okay. Like I like yeah. Do yeah. some do some crazy. Praise God, you know I've been delivered from the spirit of cursing. Oh, shout out from to, other tongues. Thank you. Just say other tongues. <laughs> Just say I'm delivered from other tongues. Yes, I'm I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good way to say other tongues. Yes, so. other tongues. Yes. However, uh -huh. I naturally if like if if something isn't quite right or off, yeah. like I'll I'll. Yeah. I'll tend to retreat, but because yeah. I live out loud, pe a lot of people who don't really know me personally, right. they don't see that. They think that I'm like, I'm just as human as y'all. And if God right. can take this little broken yeah. vessel yeah, 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 and yeah. help me step out and do some things, he can do the same for you. Trust right. me. If yes, he can Lord. heal these other tongues. Yes, Lord. <laughs> if he can heal me, he can heal you. Yes. Stop yes, me yes. from saying other tongues. Yes. I mean, I stopped cussing years ago, man. Yeah. yeah it's, it's been yeah, years yeah. It's for been me years now. For yeah. Me. Um, um, I was in, I was in the jail for a long time as an officer, not mm -hmm. as an inmate. Hallelujah. Either Listen. way. You know, no, 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 no. Because when I say I was in the jail, most people think, oh, he was the inmate. Bless his God. I where said, no, I work. I, yeah. Where your number at? You got your number. You still know your DOC number? No, I don't. Um, 
but um you know because the atmosphere i was in and a lot of people don't understand that so it just brought a lot of out of me you wow. know? and so um i'm retired now thank you jesus but um but you can because of the atmosphere that we were in or grew up in um it can uh you know, keep us bound. Oh yeah, it can. Bond. It can. And that's why I love And on the flip side to too, freedom. yes, yes, mm -hmm. it, it's so much that we can, t that we will tackle and address mm -hmm. with the bondage to freedom. Right. Um, the a uh, fashion week is just the the right, the, right, the, right, the right. gateway to bring people in. Yeah. Uh, but what I was gonna say is, even on the flip side, right. like when when you start to change things about yourself or grow closer yeah. to christ think people will fall off and you know like yeah. people that and, and thinking about the other tongues that uh yes, that god the delivered me tongue. from <laughs> uh I, like if it, it was like the people that i was around my surroundings my you know uh the spaces and the atmospheres that i was in that's how everybody spoke. Now, I probably, you know, was on the superlative list. You know, <laughs> I, I think I mastered it pretty well at one point. Woo, shut um, up. However, like I said, now I'm at He's a, a point that, that the people around me are cognizant of what they're saying because yeah. they know that I am very intentional change. with it's my words. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. And when you see, um, as, as, as God starts to show you how yeah. your words can build or mm -hmm. tear down, it is so amazing to watch mm -hmm. your words actually heal people. Yeah. Um, people are uh, often, uh, I get compliments on how I can take a negative situation or if I have to share hard news mm -hmm. or, or um, very real news with right. people and the person takes it in such a way and people are like, did you tell them what happened? I'm like, yeah, when you start mm -hmm. with love. Yeah, so, start with so love. yeah, when you start, start with, with love, love and, and, love and oh yeah, I tell yeah. everyone that is love, true love is a bomb that can you know like it it can dissipate anything. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yes, matter yes, what yes. it is, right? Yeah, it can, and I and I tell people that, um, especially when you talk about the bondage thing. That's my song, but um, <laughs> well, with the bondage uh, and the love, um bondage is such a hard thing addictions and um, that is so uh captivated that uh -huh. is so connected to fashion and when you say from bondage to freedom that's that's what really get got me man when you say from bondage to freedom yes because there's so many people that are hiding behind come on now the fashion hiding behind the way they dress yeah hiding behind the way they do their hair and hiding behind the makeup and yeah it's really somebody else behind it they're not really showing their true self oh you are going to spaces and places that you know that, yeah the, and, and it is so true right. like from um uh from like you said the we hide or we mask, hide. We mask you everything. know where we are and, mm -hmm. and and but what that does is it just keeps us further and further bondage. from yeah it yeah it, it keeps us bondage <laughs> and, and bondage too so i think sometimes we want to um fool ourselves to think like oh no that's them that's in bondage. like i'm not on drugs right. and i'm not on like bondage can be generational curses yes it, it is. can be you know like yes it, it, is. it, it is so many things that could keep us in bondage it could be the using those other tongues right you know right because i was not giving life and 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 the more that i am aware of my words and the things that i say mm -hmm. more I, I i have more and more people tell me how like oh my gosh Quintari, you bless me and it'll be something that is so like like i'm not even thinking right. that that you're blessing but, people right now that, on the airways, yeah praise so god I, I i pray yeah, that yeah, i am yeah. i pray Next that station. god uh, through That's me right. is really helping someone um, wherever they are yes, and sir. allowing them to see. Yes, but, I, but what I don't want is for the people to continue to be fooled, to think that because we have figured out ways not to let other people know. Hello. That, you know, like, it, and, and it. sometimes we, That's it. That's and, and I it. tell my kids, That's it. my kids, that all of them are probably going to be on somebody's leather couch at some point in time. Cause, <laughs> cause to have me as a mom, like I'm a special breed. You, you tell but, the truth. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, shy by. I do. My yeah. son is tired of yeah. my truth. He don't want to hear me tell the truth. Dad, yeah. dad. <laughs> um, but, um, I, I, I feed, I, I mean, I let my children know that, um, you know, even if you want a lot of others, mm -hmm. be, real be, yeah, 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 be, yeah, be yeah. real with yourself. Be real with yourself. And in all honesty, yes. And in all honesty, I think that is how I may appear 
to right. be packaged a little better. Right, and right. it is just because I have um, over time been very, very mm -hmm. intentional about dealing with me, about dealing with those kernels that were deeply planted, lies that I was told as a child and heard over and over again, you know, um, foolishness in my community that, um, that seemed like reality. And I just lifted my head up and was like, wait a minute everybody don't live like that you Hello. Know? so um so we really need to be honest with ourselves and realize that bondage does not have to be one of the big three you know uh you know like drugs uh sex crime you know it doesn't have to be something that we categorize as so major or, or that you're a misfit or something along those lines it could be the small things in your life that are keeping you from being the the who god intended you to be right and and the and your best self it could be something as simple as you don't read the word of god every day yeah. or you don't wake up and you don't pray, pray every intentionally day. every day that could be a form of bondage whatever um and and the thing about the enemy is in in my life i can mm -hmm. only speak for my life and the mm -hmm. experiences i've seen where he's done the most damage or where where it's like whoo we got a yeah. lot of work to do yeah. is the subtle places it isn't like made and don't get me wrong right, i've had right. things happen in life that is like right. okay that that was a that was a yeah. major one yeah, that yeah, was yeah, a big yeah. one yeah. but it's the little things yeah. the daily decisions over and over again from what you eat or what you don't eat or those little mm -hmm. decisions could be a form of bondage but because it's so subtle we don't give it the attention that you know it what? needs and the it, bible says the wages of mm -hmm. sin is death the wages yeah of sin is death so you just keep building up credit and building up credit boom. and building up credit. The next thing you know, boom, you're done. Yeah. It's the wages. Yeah. So as you said, it's a subtle thing. That's how the devil works. He works through subtle things. Yeah. Subtle things. Or I'll get them here. Then I'll get them here. Mm -hmm. Then I'll get them here. Then I'll get them here. The next thing you know, you say, wow, man, everything is hitting me. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. next thing you give over to whatever the big thing is and you're done yeah you're done and that's how come he gets you and settle stuff because it throws you off you be like so that's how come i think in your words because you're so powerful even as you're speaking now it's the confession it's saying what it is i confessed every day i say i'm more than a conqueror through jesus oh, christ yeah. you know i'm the head and not the tail mm -hmm. you know i'm the lender and not the borrower wilbur nooks will be out of debt Mm -hmm. You know, Wilbur Knuckles will be set free from people and things. Mm -hmm. You know, Wilbur Knuckles is a great man of God. He's yes. not a follower. He's a leader. I say this to my son. I said, son, what are you? He said, I'm a great man of God. I said, what are you? I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. I say, I say this to him every day he goes to school. So Those then that way, he'll, he'll, yeah. I mean, because you got to give the angels something. Yeah, to do. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's I, what I you're doing. That. You that's have what you're to doing. tell the universe. You have to tell, have to tell yeah. them what to do, yeah. man. And they'll do it for you. This is how Miss Station came about. Wow. Because we put it out there. We got tired of going to the radio stations and they wouldn't do, they wouldn't play our stuff. So we said, you know what? We create our own. One thing Sounds somebody said. Faith and one, yeah. one, one thing somebody said. They say, do not, I forgot who this quote is by, but somebody gonna tell me. Don't complain about the issue. Change what the issue is. Mm. Change it. Yeah. Why you complain about the issue? Just do something about it. Yeah. The issue is still gonna be there. They still not gonna play me if yeah. I go to them now. So we created our own. I mean, create. So you won't have to deal with the issue. Yeah. Create. So you want to deal with. I'm paraphrasing, but y'all got my yeah. Tip about it. Yeah. So that's focus on it, the plan. Focus not on the, the plan, not the problem. Yeah. Like, that's another way to say and it. And that is an area of bondage. Yes. When I, I it, in it to be candid, mm -hmm. I feel as though we have more people that speak ill on their lives yes, they that do. speak ill on yes, their children do. that's always negative cup is always half empty oh, and uh, oh. that now that bondage is it's running another, rampant people are so um you know defeated yes they you are. know they're yes, defeated they they, you know they don't understand it's the words that's spoken and the, over their lives yes and and so it makes someone like myself who just wakes up to a prayer above my head and you know and, and it gives me a little energy yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. me look like a rock star when in all honesty like 
I'm, uh, I'm treading above water yeah, myself yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. But I don't speak and feed into it. Mm-hmm. And when things look bad, I don't let my whole world collapse. I but but then again, it's my relationship with God too. Right. I know that no matter how dark it gets, that God still has me. And I also mm-hmm. know I'm a stargazer. Like I yeah. I love watching the stars, but it reminds me too that in the darkest of night, mm-hmm. the star sign shines so much brighter. So much you know, so when 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 it's really dark. Mm-hmm. That is the greatest, the greatest opportunity time. to shine. That's right. That's the greatest the Bible opportunity said this to shine. You just uh, uh, going there. You know, God has not given us a spirit of fear, yes. but of love and a sound mind. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Because I only fear God. And that's where faith comes in. Because now I can step out of the boat mm-hmm. and be free of some things. Faith helped me to step out of the boat, to talk to other folk. To get out there, to get what we're doing out there, to get what you're doing out there. And because once they told me, oh, you're going to be here again. <laughs> you, we'll, we'll talk after this because you need to do more. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Because this could be another avenue for you to do what you're doing, even on a bigger scale. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we're everywhere. Yeah. station is everywhere. A lot of people don't know. It, but hallelujah. Bless his name. But that's why we Hallelujah, do what, bless <laughs> that's why we do what we do. That's why I said Wilbur Wilbur Nookwood will be delivered from people and things. Because the whole idea is that if I worried about what people say, mixed station would never be here today. Wow. Amen. See what I'm saying? Amen. Fashion, faith and fashion yeah. would never be here if you listen to yeah. what people I would not be an say. entrepreneur. You would not, not be oh, see what I'm saying? You see? don't even understand the amount of people that would tell me like, You got a good job. And you just gonna go out there what well you don't get a check every two weeks and i thank god for it you know like you know so and and to in all honesty i believe that many people believe that what they're saying is out of love and in order to protect you right because they're so used to that yeah 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 but that's another form of bondage because they never saw nobody get out of it it's just like they were tithing i say this to everybody with tithing if you want your business to grow you got to tithe you have to tie. You have to give God his. Wow. And then yours will grow. Trust me. I tied the Sunny on behalf of Mixed Station. I tied every time on behalf of Mixed Station. And I do for the house before I do for my house. Mm, my Hello, God. what I'm saying? Hello, what I'm saying? Yeah. So the, the seeds that I sowed there, you know, now it's coming. Look at this. Oh, yeah. No, this was, we, we've been here for 18 years. Yeah, my God. 18 years in this yeah. space. We've been here for 18 years. We just started the That's station in, 2000, in 2016. Mm. So this is not for me and my brother. This is for my sons and his legacy. children. Legacy. Leave the legacy yes. for them. We're growing, and you know what? And that's how God's blessed. Because you, when you told me you went from city to city, and I just, wow, man. That's what mixed station. We doing that now. We got a station with the girl that uh that um she's gonna hit the station in Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. Um um my friend Lord I forgot my friend name. Don't Is forget that, me. That's all right. That's all right. She know I love her. Trina Love. Yeah. Trina Love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trina Love. Yeah, she I became a part of us. Um, Naomi's friend. I think she's coming to um, Faith and Fashion. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, I think that's why I need to be there. Yeah. I need support. Yes, you need, need to support. be there. Oh, Shaba, see, see, the CEO said I need to be there. So yes. I guess, I guess I need to be there. She, she invited there. me personally, so I better be there. Whether well, I don't be there, she gonna say she gonna talk about yes. me. So well, hallelujah. They get me on the red carpet. Oh Lord. Be like, right Wilma? in my head. Where, where Wilma? Wilma. Oh no, she said the country. Wilbur. So you know that's how we expand. We expand into Washington D.C. Then we go to do something in New York. And so God is just blessing us to go different places. Mm-hmm. And it's and, and and the thing about it, we're we're putting a platform like you're putting a platform out there for other people to see how you can blend this thing together and, and still you know be holy. what's next and what's needed. Oh my God! A coalition. Yes, for Lord. us to, because it's so many positive kernels out there Mm -hmm. and and one thing that i will say that it saddens me on some level Mm -hmm. is i do a lot of uh community service and nonprofit work those who do not know god or do not love god they are more dedicated and come together more so than the body of christ you know like we all want like this mind this you know Mm -hmm. like we're so segregated and we don't realize that that separation is exactly why we're 
while we're weak, you know? So I, I pray for an opportunity for people to come together, for those of us who love God, yeah. to come together and truly support one another, truly support the ideas and the dreams. Because I was just on the phone with someone. I'm holding um, a business credit uh, course, December 7th. And okay. I got people that's calling, you know, okay. like, like, oh my gosh, you know, I want to sign up. But I was telling them, um, honestly, when you have a dream or a vision, mm -hmm. you know, when it when it's a real one a real one Hello. when it when it's you a real it on paper, one babe. yeah yes, yeah sir. yeah when, yes, when, when it's a real one I, I have not seen someone who has a vision that it's a one man band that you they can do it all themselves and and, and to me it it, it, it Come it's on true, now. You if it's it. something that you can do solo dolo and you don't need anybody either you're not dreaming big enough or it's whack Period. Hello. And I said here. Like, hello, hello. Either you're not dreaming before it's whack. It's whack. It's whack. It's whack. It's whack. It's, it's whack. whack. It's whack. You can and tell she's from the city. <laughs> Detroit whack. City. Hold on. Detroit, it. Detroit, I'm Detroit I'm City. Detroit, Day Trois, the yeah. French port. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And ooh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And that's what we need. We need a team. It's just we like do. me. I do music. Mm -hmm. And I always tell my cats, I always have a bad band. Mm. I don't care what I do because I want them to be fearless like me. Yeah. If you can't believe in me going, if I make up stuff on the spot, they gotta be right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no, and I do jazz, I do it all. I just go right in and they better follow me. Yeah. That's the people I need. If you scared and you just wanna. Give us a format. No, you don't have no format. Because God scared, is say you scared. Yeah, say you scared. Making me nervous. Let me man up. Man up. Man up. If you scared, say you scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, I don't have time to be playing games because time, I don't have time to waste. Yeah. I hate wasting God's time. Yeah. Yeah. I hate Now that reminds me of a Jeezy God's song. Time. Praise God. I ain't oh, been all the way to That's all right. That's but, all right. But in one of his, his verses, he said, you waste time and yeah. you ain't going to waste mine. I mean, and that's, yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I don't that, have time. Yeah. You know, when we have things that we need to do and we need to do them for Christ, especially I do not want to waste his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, when you waste his time, oh my God. Yeah. You, you're going to feel every bit of it. Oh, you will. I guess you will. You will. Yes, you and will. beyond that, mm -hmm. the gravity of, of wasting time when it's an assignment that God uh, has you on, it is lives connected to yes, it. Sir. It's souls connected yes, to it. Like, yes, like, like shame on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shame yeah. on you. And shame on anyone out there that has something on your heart that you uh -huh. know God told you to do a while ago yes, and sir. you have not brought that yes, to pass. Sir. Like, yes, we're sir. waiting on it. Like, yes. our lives are depending That's on it. whatever comes that's is it. in you that's and when it. when i make it to heaven and father god you know it's 80 years from now you know i i uh, yeah but when but when i get there i want to show when up i get and, there you. <laughs> but i, I want to show up and he's like quintaria high five because yeah. you did yeah, you, you did it you, you, did you had nothing you. left yeah, like, you had nothing left thank that's you. it and that's, that's it. the life that i want to live that's you know it, that's the life that i want those around me to that's live it. because oh one God. thing I've, I've learned is that success through others is a beautiful thing yes sir. in order for my dreams to truly come through yes, sir. i've got to create platforms for those of others to be able that's to build it. their dreams that's and it. to see um a space in it and sometimes we miss that and that's why i'm praying for more coalitions because if i help you reach the top if, if I'm connected to you, that's you right. Know, yeah, that's right. You, know? you need and to be connected to Mix Station. That's what Mix Station that. was made yes. for you. <laughs> Hello, I'm <laughs> trying to get her. I'm well, trying to get her to come <laughs> on. It was made for you. Uh, yeah. but, but the world gets that, yeah. you know, yeah. the, the world gets that. And uh, I thank God that I've been in certain places where I was the only one that yeah. looked like me. And yeah. I saw how you that saw. worked, you, you know, saw. but it made me think like, because it don't get me wrong. You know, I, I grew up in the church and around yeah. uh, church people and things yeah, of that I nature. Understand. There's lots of love there. It is. We just got to really focus in and address the problems that we have so that we can truly be great and mighty and, and put the the things that don't matter. You yeah. know, hello, hello, um, hello. back in 2016, mm -hmm. I had several like tragedy after tragedy after oh, tragedy back to back. But and, and it was tough. It yeah. was tough. It was very tough, you know, so much so that when I think back about it now, it's like, how did we ever get through that? However, 
it that I thank God for that mm -hmm. time period because it reminded me of what is truly important. I mm. don't have road rage anymore. To, like it's a lot of things to, that that's like you it, it, yeah, it know it's not that serious. It's 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 not that serious. Yes, if it's not life or death, like it's not that serious. And plus. I have to use my time so wisely because I have a lot um, going on. Yes. I have a lot to do. Yes. And it, I, I know that there are things that are connected to what I, what, what my assignment is. Amen. So I, yeah, so it must be fulfilled. Yes. It must be filled. Leave here empty. Love. Empty. 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 I say, you know what? Um, I'm just now at a point where it's so because of the gospel, because I do gospel music and, um, and the songs that I write are so, reality i call them reality songs wow dealing with every issue of life the flesh whatever we need um, that but nobody is writing like that god's music has been so money hungry mm. and so like well we got to be safe or nobody won't listen to it so i said okay i'll take my stuff to the clubs yeah so i'm in the clubs i i've come to find out that this chosium is not where i'm doing it at yeah. Because they can't receive what I'm doing. I'm too hardcore. Yeah. Do you know what? But if I do it in the club, the people that come to the club are open. They're ready. Yeah. They're ready. They want to be but in the it, presence. But isn't that our responsibility? It's, we're supposed isn't to do that, that the call of we're disciples? We're supposed to do that. That is the call. But they don't you do know? that. Yeah. It's just like everybody getting mad at, uh, what's his name, Kanye West. Oh, yeah. Look, whatever. If he's for real, he's for real. If he's not, we'll see. But for right now, people are coming to Christ, regardless how yeah. you want to look at it or and, not. And, oh, my, I had an interview last week, and we were talking about uh -huh. the whole Kanye phenomenon. Yeah. And, and, and my opinion on that, which still remains the right. same, Kanye been saved all of six months and <laughs> led 60 million people. <laughs> It, it, it at least pointed them in the, yeah, the direction of them in the right direction. Sister such and such, you've been saved 60 years yeah, yeah, and ain't yeah, invited nobody, nobody to church. Nobody. You know, so so that we, we get caught up we get caught on the up. wrong things. I said, and my let thing that man is do it. pray for him. Let him do it. Let, it, it, if so it, if it let if God be God. If if, if if it turned out that he phony, then he just phony. Yeah. But how many people gonna come to Christ? Thank you. And that's gonna stay if that is the case. And, and, and if not, and, then so and here we are with another form of bondage there getting so focused on, on the man, man. that be, because the, the, the be power saved. of god saved. and and i feel like that about trump too now i didn't yeah, because yeah, yeah. But, people, we, but people coming back to god aren't they <laughs> they, they saying god now it's the lord we didn't know yes you know you know him huh? no but god now uh, you are you are hilarious <laughs> but I, but no my thing is like you know a lot of people have nasty comments yeah, to yeah, say yeah. and oh he's not my president and all that stuff and yeah, and you can impressive. you can feel how you want, but my thing is if if you really trust God, you know that He can use anything. And yeah. it, it is not we get so focused on humans, yeah. we get so focused on Kanye and what he's yeah, doing yeah, wrong. Yeah. But it goes back to my initial point: is it me focusing on Trump and his shortcomings, Kanye and whatever your yeah, opinion is right. about him? Mm -hmm. It keeps me from looking at myself for my own healing. For right. my own deliverance, which right. you know, like, and, and that's the point. Like, right. if I stay fixated on Lord, what do you need me? Because wh while we're bashing people or or trying mm -hmm. to d discern whether they're you know mm -hmm. walking in the right step, if if we got more in in line with God, it may be something that a message that you have directly right. for Kanye or for President Trump or something you know, like that. You know, but you, we get so focused get so on focused. just just hating it and behaving like the world behaving that's like one that. thing and I, I, this is totally unscripted but, but, but you know but, what the, the church really doesn't get it because i remember uh years ago uh, when i started doing the club thing and um, i would go to the club and i was doing praise and worship too at the same time and my pastor at the time came to me and said he said well but I, I heard that you've been going in the club i said yeah that's what that's why i do my thing you know i'm still not i'm not uh uh, I'm still saying Jesus. Mm -hmm. I still talk about love. And I'm in it. I just do what I do in the club. And he said, you know what? He said, everybody can't do what you do. You keep on doing what you're doing. Mm. See what I'm saying? So even though they try to crucify me behind the doors, my pastor had enough common sense to understand, no, everybody can't do what you do. 
everybody's not ready yeah, for it because see flip. because see if you go in the club you got to be for real yeah you can't go in that half and see the church we know how to put the mask on yeah, yeah you can't yeah. do that in the club yeah it's like coming to baltimore and trying to do a concert you better come and you sing be, for you real because you don't they're gonna boo you miss a they're gonna, they're, miss a note miss if you want note. to you, they be like oh like joe God. jackson miss, miss one step if you want to we leave it. We leave it. They'll get up and walk out in the middle of the show. You be like, oh my God, Baltimore is hard. But this is the way that we do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's why I love it because it's so real. Yeah. It's so real. The people want, the, everybody that's out there don't want to be out there. Yeah. Bottom line. Bottom line. And I love and what I, you're I believe doing with that. this. I, I, do yes. believe, I do believe that um, the uh most people yes want peace they want peace they want you they know want a, a they better life and, God. and and it's and how we get to peace and all of that yeah. is through god it's through god you know and so, somebody needs you just and you say hey i was there come on let's do this yeah yeah i can so, show you yeah so so yeah so i commend you yeah, for that you, because you. we we have to find a way to reach others we you know to, and and to. if we are fishermen of men how you gonna sit on your porch and and catch fish you can't do it like you you gotta go to where the fish are you got you gotta go where they are and you gotta go i mean i've been um you know i stopped for a minute because of life divorce and all of that stuff but that's what happens in life Mm -hmm. and it reared me too i say i got songs about divorce oh my god jesus (laughs) i wish that on nobody to go through divorce hallelujah but um when that's why i love what you was talking about the bondage to freedom and our dressing and who we are and um i was gonna go there we got time we got time to give us 10 more minutes hallelujah yeah i'm just i'm vice president so i can do that but um um, i I, that's right that's right i can extend time (laughs) extend time it's our time yes we can extend time i think uh one of the comments what we was going to about the holiness and how women dress in church and what you're tackling um to still be holy and still dress in a conservative way. Are you going to have men on there too? Oh yeah. Okay. Are they we, be wearing we, tight suits? That, Probably so. <laughs> men's warehouse is our sponsor. So okay, we'll, so we'll, it ain't too much tight. Yeah, it ain't. I yeah, mean, we'll, they have to fit it, but not the yeah, tight. Yeah, yeah, tight. We, yeah. We, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll yeah. see. What happens, <laughs> you know. and, and, and some of the designers, all of the designers, are aware of of what we have going on and what the goal is. Okay. Now, I, I've had to in in years past, I've had to say that can't go, this can't go. Okay. Uh, but it was something that you you said that kind of uh, reminded me of. Um, and it, once you said the the tight pants. It made me like <laughs> little like, man. I'm, I'm not a dance because because remember back in the day. Well, I'm from Bomb School Fields. Shout out to BSA. We just had our uh, our reunion, 40th reunion uh, last Praise weekend. God. So I've been I've been out of school for 30 years. Lord have mercy, Jeez, Jesus, <laughs> mm, God is good. So um, you know, um, I remember back in the day when I had to wear a lid tart and I had to put makeup on. I didn't want to do it, mm-hmm. but I had to do it for the for the, the play, for the play or, or the whatever, production, the opera that we was mm-hmm. doing. And um, <laughs> and I remember going home. In the area that we was in was not the best of areas. They meant it was for that lifestyle. And so I had to have the makeup on because I couldn't get the makeup off. So I had to drive the bus all the way home with the makeup on. So people thought I was, I was like, oh, my God, this is not a good yeah. look. <laughs> this is not a good look. At a teenager, this is not a good look. Mm-hmm. But God brought me through all that. And I was thinking about, that's what I was thinking about now with the guys wearing the tight pants. I said, man, I didn't want to do that back then. The way the lid tars. Now, dancer guy, the guys who dance, they wore that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they had to wear. That's part of the uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that wasn't part of my uniform being a singer. Mm-hmm. Being a vocalist, that wasn't part of my uniform. So, you know, when you look at all that and you look at the way that some of the gospel singers are now, you know, and what's going on now, it's a total different change from yeah. when I but was like, doing But like I said, again, change isn't bad. It isn't. Just, it isn't. just know why you moving, how you move. Oh, you that's know, a hard thing. It's just, so just know, like, like for for me, and 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 I don't claim to be uh, the end all, be all on right. it. However, it 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 does give me pause when when people are just moving and they don't know why. Well, well, this you is know? the thing. This is the thing. Just like I look at a woman wearing tight pants, mm-hmm. I think women look at a guy that's junk all tight and everything else the same exact way. They, they, and because sure. because 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 that's been the new thing it's like ah oh, let me uh, but then you have some pastors who don't do it like that then you have some that do 
Yeah. And it seemed like I don't want to. And God bless his heart. I know Eddie Long is gone, but how Eddie Long used to wear the tight stuff and be. I'm like, what did he doing that for? I used to say that back then. Why mm-hmm. did he open? Then we found out. Hey, okay, now we understand. See, so it does give out. It's like T.D. Jakes coming and wearing a tight suit. Just don't. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't doing what Eddie Long was doing. Yeah. Or 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 um or um or my other man um, um P.J. Morton, I was father, Bishop Morton. Mm-hmm. He just uh, they just don't do that. In certain classes of, of cats, it's just a certain way we're going to carry it there. Yeah, and and, and, I and wonder fashion if it's is kind of generational a, thing and an age thing. Well, too. Well, the thing um, about it, Eddie Long was older than them. He was still going to test up. He was just as old as them. Uh-oh. Praise God. Hallelujah! Yeah. But that's what he did. Yeah. But it was to a certain, because to me, that's kind of like you, you're, you're throwing yourself at it. I remember Juanita Bonner was talking about the people on the circle of show, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to say the name of it, but they, you know, they do their thing, a certain awards show. And she was talking about the women that they were just out of order for winning all of that type of, you know, showing their boobs down mm-hmm. here and all that. And, I, and to me, she was right. To yeah. me, she was right. Because when I looked at that stuff, I said, no, I'm not thinking of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I think how good Jesus is, but I'm not thinking of Jesus. God, you God, you so amazing. You so you good. You are creator. God. You are creator. I show my life. I know I'm gonna hear some. My parents gonna be calling me up right now. All right now, and all right now, bring that flesh and crucify the flesh. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the thing, and we have to be in that reality world of just who we are. Yeah, and I think by by flesh being so. Uh, Paraded now. Yeah. Now there needs to be a bringing it back. Yeah. And that's thank God for your conference. Yeah. 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 So, um, uh, and we we do look to, like I said, more than anything, mm-hmm. uh, to have a platform right. and an, another way to um, get people to look in the direction of God. Right. So that's that's the first reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, and don't don't get it twisted. Like, I, I can't say that I believe that, like I said earlier, dressing someone different is going to magically change their heart or their situation. Right. I think it goes much deeper than that. However, the closer you get to God mm-hmm. and Faith and Fashion Week is a vehicle that gets people closer to God. The closer you get to God, some things are going to fall off of you over time and innately just because of the relationship that you're building with God. So it is not my job necessarily to uh, transform people, uh, you know, or, or to shame people or judge people for how they're dressing. Mm-hmm. It is only my job to point them in the, the direction of Jesus right. Christ. And that's what Faith and Fashion Week does. Yeah. When I first started, I, I was on a on more of a crusade, like you know, uh, try, like no, 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 you don't have to wear that, and uh, you know, or or don't wear that short dress, wear this and that or whatever. Mm-hmm. However, I learned um, that if someone has their mind set on you know going to the club, and I'm trying to get them, but my thing is then, and, my, and I'm trying to tell them why they should wear an ankle mm-hmm. length, length right, skirt, right. you know, they, they. So I started to focus on well maybe I can address people with business. Maybe Mm. I can let young women know like the appropriate attire for business, which helped me to show them what was appropriate. And and little by little, some of those same people Mm -hmm. um, began to shift in how they were dressing when they went to the club. And it's it's the same thing with my music being in the club. Yeah. The first thing people would say, Hey man, what church you go to? They would pull me off to the side uh-huh. and say, "Hey, man, what church you go to? Say, man, this is your baba, and that's the way of getting them." In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. It's just so, a point that's, that's, yeah. So, um, uh, we get ready in the show. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and talk. And I got another announcement I'm gonna do real oh, quick. Oh no, you're. Yeah. I, I ahead, appreciate just, oh, yeah. the conversation. Wonderful, wonderful, today. yeah, wonderful. It's been a yes, blessing. It has, yeah. it has, it has. Before we leave, I want to thank everyone on social media who's been chiming in and commenting. Uh, the comments are a little too far for us yes, to, yes, to yes. see. My Instagram shut down. I don't know whether it was my, <laughs> you know, like I don't, I broke the internet. Yes. Praise God, yes. I broke the internet. Yes. Uh, but I just want to thank uh, everyone in advance for uh, your support. I did a post this morning about just being thankful for my tribe and the people that I'm connected to. 
and and the love that I receive. I know I am designed to love on others, but it definitely, um, I definitely see it coming full circle with the support. Uh, my team, shout out to all of you. Uh, the I cannot wait to honor you all um, during Faith and Fashion Week. I love you all so much. Thank you for all of you all who have come year after year. And we want to see you this year at Mind, Body, and Spirit, the Body Type Conference, the the um, the grand finale. Come out. Um, check us out at faithfashionweek.com for more information. Uh, we're at Faith Fashion Week on all social media platforms. But I love you. We love you. God bless you all and all that good stuff. Amen. Where is it going to be held? Uh, it's at the Sheridan Hotel in downtown Silver Spring, Maryland. Okay, so you're going to be in like close to Washington, D.C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. That's a, such a blessing. I guess I have to be down there then. For yes, that. You, you have to be down Amen. there. You heard it here. This call is being monitored and recorded. Oh my God. No, she didn't do that. Quintaya. <laughs> mm. All right. Um, I have this announcement from one of my friends. She's doing a wellness concert since we're talking about mm -hmm. uh, fashion and all this. And it's the fourth Choose Wellness con Conference. It's going to be held November 23rd, uh, 2019 from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Um, it's going to be topics like giving stress, care, caregiver stress, pretty much the topic. And it's going to be held at the Hilton Garden Inn, 1050 Beards. Hill Road in Aberdeen, Maryland, 21001. The tickets are $30. For tickets, you can call 410-939-0340 or email at thewellnessladyus at gmail.com. Amen. The tickets again are $30. You can call again 410-939-0340 or email at the wellness lady us at gmail.com the wellness lady us llc shy hawkins is the owner thank you love for sending that in and um god bless you that's one of my friends uh wellness concert god bless you in aberdeen maryland you need to share us we need to get some people out there in aberdeen maryland all right for mixed station nation all right thank you shy and um thank you so much Quintaria, for than being welcome. here with us at Mix Station, and hopefully this will not be the last time. Prayerfully not. I've through. had an awesome um, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we yeah. can talk about a lot more than yeah. we talk about today. Who's we buying these shoes? Who's buying them shoes? <laughs> that brother is blessed. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. But we just thank God for you, and um, hopefully I will see you next week. Yes. Your mix station will be there next week. So yes. one of our partners will be there, so she will be there. Praise and God. And praise God for Trina Love. Thank Trina mm -hmm. Love for help, for hooking us up. And your girl, uh, Naomi. Naomi. Yeah. yeah, Naomi's supposed to be here. I'm going to put out there. Yeah. Naomi, I went to Naomi two years he ago, y'all. something going on. No, no, no. I'm going to talk did. about it. I'm going to talk about it live, right? <laughs> Naomi supposed to be doing the show. I shot by to see ya. <laughs> Put me with Big Station. Amen. I'm putting you out there, Naomi. Bless God. But we're going to be talking later. And I just thank God for her life and um, your life. And thank my you. girl, Trina Love. Thank God for it. Oh, thank blessings, God for you blessings, too. Mix Station. And to my brother, uh, the CEO, Marcus, for letting us do this. Um, this is it, family. God bless you. And heaven smile upon you. Amen. <laughs>